it should be the same mess again at 38. And you know, a lot of these guys, one could beat another one on any given day. So we'll see where those guys fall. Yeah, and that could even another lineup issue that could get that much more complicated. We talked about uh, Lafayette's guys um, with Torgensen, Vasquez, and Vasquez. Um, that could be, you know, either Kevin at 32 or Torgensen at 32. Um, one of them at 38, the other at 32. Uh, Angel could be 38, 45, and you know, those other guys have to bump up to 45 if Angel drops down. So just have to wait a couple months to probably know how that's going to going to shake out at at 38. Should be uh, pretty exciting though. Again, another one of those where we go into the state tournament not really knowing how that order is going to shake out. Uh, 145, got Angel Vasquez, Jackson Oxford, Andrew Bailey, and Mason Smith. Um, and we just talked about Angel, state champ, state runner-up. So, um, yeah, well, he could be here at 45, he may drop down to 38. Um, ooh, got a nice storm coming in. <laughs> oh. <laughs> While we were uh, had a couple of conversations with some uh, union folks, and um, seemed to, seemed, they seem pretty confident that Oxford's going to get down to 45. Um, so he will definitely be a threat there. Um, he's always a big, strong kid. Um, uh, Andrew Bailey, um, maybe getting some rumblings that he may be moving up. I think he's been at 145. And every year, he's been three years at 145, I think. I know two for sure. So he may actually be growing up to a 52 pounder. Um, and then uh, obviously see Mason quite a bit, and he will he will be a good size 145 definitely, and um, will be right there with all those guys based on uh, um, what I've seen in my rolling around down at ETC with Barton and those guys. So he will definitely be right there in the mix. Um, I guess a couple interesting guys. Uh, Derek Wiley has been tough for a long time, um, trying to finish out his career, getting a high school state title. So last shot. We'll see how he he does. I'm assuming um, that he'll be in there at 145. And then uh, it's Johnson Central guys. Uh, kind of interesting. Not sure uh, how their lineup's going to fall out. We we kind of made a guess here, but. Um, they always seem to be somewhat of a mystery. You don't really know anything until you see them at the state tournament. So right now we have Gamble here at 45 um, and uh, Blanton up at 52. Um, we'll see. Uh, another one, I'll just point out uh, Hennahan too. With AJ and you know, Fern Creek lineup, I wonder if they might um, think they have a shot at, at repeating and try to um, Encourage guys to be at certain weight classes to, to maximize their points, so that that, uh, that may affect things as well. I also heard they, they had a transfer coming in. And then you hear that there was a transfer coming in from, you know, who knows? You know how rumors are. Hey, we're getting, you know, a, a, a Russian kid that, you know, <laughs> <laughs> who knows? So we'll we'll see what happens there. I I think I would add a little on the Bailey. I, I was told that. A couple weeks ago, he, he had said to someone he was thinking about going 152. If he does go 152, I believe Jordan Kidwell will drop to 45 for Cooper. Um, and then, yeah, we'll, we'll see what Angel does. Angel, you you, you keep you keep eating. <laughs> <laughs> Take one for the team. Let your brother, little brother, pick his weight, and you go around him. So we'll see. Um, 152. I actually put a note on here. Barton is the man. He uh, Ben Barton last year had a run. I think the year before that he was he was a solid guy, and I think his offseason work last year. You know, I, I talked to a lot of people that you know thought in their mind even before the season started it was his title to win, um, and he definitely performed at the state tournament. Um, I think. He's definitely the guy at 52. Um, yeah, Blanton there, I, I believe he'll move up to 52 from Johnson Central. 
And he seems like he's been around a long time. I mean, he's a junior. So, I guess he, uh, he will be right there in the mix. The other question would be Brady Emerson. He, he is a monster. I, you know, I, I, I see him all the time, and I, you know, I don't see him step on the scale, but, I mean, he's got to be 170. He's, you know, I, I don't know where he'll go. Um, I imagine he will come down somewhere in the 52. He might even go 45. I, I don't know. He's, uh, I'll be real curious to see where he goes. Um, you also, we, we talked about Wiley at 45. You also have his teammate, uh, Tristan Medita. Um, he will actually be a senior. He's another guy that seems like he's been around forever. Um, I think he, uh, he will finally be a senior. I, at 52, he's going to be big. I think him and Wiley, both those guys were pretty large for their weight classes last year. So I haven't seen them in a long time, but I imagine those guys um, are going to be some big boys looking to make a run. And then the last person I had, I try to pick some sleepers here. I have uh, Braden Mulcahy at 152. He was a uh, state qualifier last year at 138. Uh, made it to the state tournament. He got out of our region at 138, region six at 138, 132 was tough. Um, the reason I say sleeper, I, I'm not projecting him to win a state title by any means, but we have him at 23rd now. My, my guess is a full year in the room. Um, some of the partners he's got there, these are gonna be wrestling with every single day. I would imagine he's gonna creep into the top 10. So. You know, we'll see what happens there, but 52 will be a uh, fun weight class to watch. Yeah, I think uh, more and more I've thought about this the last few days when we made the Johnson Central shift. Um, it be another match I would really like to see, Barton and Blanton. Um, I, think, I think Keegan Duncan told me that Barton got taken down like 8,000 times last year. He, he uh, had the award for most takedowns for Trinity last year, but that was because I don't know, like Keegan said, he was down by like 10 points in all his, match, all his matches and he had to come back, so that's why he got all those takedowns. So it um, be, be pretty interesting because Blanton is uh, a pretty good defensive wrestler, so he's going to come out. You can imagine he comes out, takes, take, takes Ben down, gets that lead and tries to stall it out, and would Ben be able to wear him down and uh, take him down to win the match? I think. Uh, and Blanton is quick. I, yeah, I agree with you. That'd be an be a interesting matchup. Okay, uh, 160, um, kind of a, a repeat from uh, last year. We have Ackley at number one, a Trinity guy right behind him at number two, Hudson Heidor, um, who uh, missed a little bit of time this summer. He's just getting back on the mat, um, but always a very good technical wrestler. Um, number three, Jonathan Little from North Harden. Four, Joe Jackson who uh, I think also had a pretty good run as an eighth grader last year um, up here with the big boys. Um, little would be kind of interesting just you know, with all the changes going on at North Harden um, to see what happens with him. I don't, know, I don't know if they have a coach at this point. I'm sure they'll get somebody in there. Um, but I uh, just wonder, I'm sure Joe will still be working with a lot of those guys down there. Um, he's got a good relationship with most of those kids and they all seem to love him like everybody else around the state but um, it'll be interesting to see how they how that team develops throughout the year if they're on um, at their peak at the end of the season how could you not love joe burroughs i don't joe you keep taking those kids to church and do whatever you got to do all right I, my goodness joe all right every day all right i guess uh 170. Now, that, uh, this is going to be interesting. One is at the top, you have Myman. Myman, two time state champ from Rye. Um, looking for his third title. I think last year there were some shifts in those weights. Um, you know, kind of seeing it. You know, Lampy was in there. I think Lampy had a win over Myman at the Raider Rumble. You know, I, I was kind of interested where some of those top level guys were going to go. This year, I, there's talks, and we're kind of we're gonna have to see what happens here. We we have my minute one, two-time state champ, looking for his third. We have Max Andrioni from Woodford County too. Max is a monster. Um, it, it 
that's another match. When we were talking about what matches we want to see, you know, uh, a, a Sheffer versus Logan, this is another match. Um, Max has a motor that won't stop. As far as Johnny, he's won two titles. Um, the guy has a way of winning. I, you know, I, I've seen him wrestle, and you know, the last ten seconds, there's that burst, gets that takedown, and you know, he does what it takes to win. So, I that that's probably one of the matches I really want to see. Um, coming in third is Max Emerson. <laughs> For a while, Max is an unbelievable kid, and he is the most unorthodox wrestler. Yeah. I think I've ever seen. I mean, I you know I watch him practice two or three days a week, and he is he is fun to watch. You know, I, I'll see him rolling around with big cold Dob, and then him and his brother look like they're just gonna you know fist fight each other. I couldn't imagine what it's like at their dinner table when they're you know. So Max will be right up in there. I, I truly believe that Max can wrestle with anybody, um, just because he he'd be a hard guy to prepare for. Um, so out of these three, I. I think those are the guys. Everything else, there's some other solid guys in there, um, but I, I believe those three end up at the top, um, and it's going to be interesting to see who actually wins the title here, if those guys all stay in that weight class. Yeah, that's what um, – it'll be interesting to see where Andreoni ends up. I know he was a 60-pounder in Fargo, and he's wrestling 63 at uh, the New Jersey Open. Um, Cornette was a 70 pounder in Fargo and he's wrestling 73 at the Hoosier Open. So, are, are those guys going to stay down or um, is it just kind of a big event thing? They're, they're wrestling down at those weights and get to the season and they'll, they'll wrestle up. We'll have to, uh, have to wait and see. 182. Uh, 182. Number one, Casey Cornette, we just talked about from Simon Kenton. Uh, number two, Alex McIntosh. Number three, Aaron King. Four, Josh Robbins. Um, you know, again, a lot. It's kind of interesting. Interesting at the top of Casey and McIntosh. Um, uh, I'd be inter interested to see what would happen at 182 if Casey w did drop down at 170. Would we see some more guys move to 182? Um, it, it doesn't have as many proven. Uh, state level guys in there um, so I think there's that's definitely a weight class right now it looks like some opportunity for some new new guys to jump up and kind of uh, make a name for themselves um, but yeah I think that one at least the way it looks right now looks like uh, a weight class that I would I would uh, feel pretty strongly Casey is a strong favorite there I would yeah I would definitely agree with that I, I think between the 70 and the 82 with Myman, Andreoni, Emerson, Casey, McIntosh, I you know I'm I'm real curious to see how that how that plays out. So I I really think even both these weight classes, you take top four guys, I I, I really believe that's going to be the four, and then there's going to be some other guys you know that are going to come up and try to compete. But those four guys up top are pretty solid on both those weight classes. One ninety five. Uh, I actually had a long phone call today about this one. Obviously, we have Frank Crone at number one, Allgaier two, Kruger three, and LaCorey Robinson four. Um, Frank Crone just, I, he, he's just as tough as they come. I, I think that, you know, watching him wrestle, it's, it seems like he just takes his time, takes his time. Okay, I'll take you down. And I watched Casey Cornett last year. He must have been in on a high cry, I don't know, two or three times. And I, I, I was just baffled because Casey is, he, he's a solid kid and as strong as they come. And, you know, it looked like he just grabbed a hold of the tree trunk. So I think Tyler Frank Crone, if I had to pick a weight, will win this. The only thing I think, though, is Elijah Allgaier. I had a chance to watch him wrestle this year at Michigan, and I, you know, we'll see what happens. I, I got to go with Frank Crone at one, but Allgaier is is a handful. Um, unbelievable kid. It was the first time I was around him, and uh, you know, we'll see what happens at this weight. Yeah, we're assuming Frank Crone's going to move up to 195. I haven't 
I've heard all, all sorts of things about his weight. I heard you know, some points last year he was under 182. I've heard he was 200. So who knows what he really weighs. Um, maybe his weight actually does fluctuate like that. But um, uh, if he's at 82, that would be interesting. I know Casey has been working his tail off to be able to compete with Frank Roman this year. But if he decided to be at 82, but um, uh, that would be, that'd be an interesting matchup. Uh, Allgaier is pretty tough. Um, but yeah, I think he probably is a step behind Frank Roman. You know, top 10 in the country right now, so it's tough to beat that. Okay, 220, um, the departure of <laughs> Austin Meyer. We finally uh, maybe have some uh, uh, competitive weight class here where uh, you know, somebody else has a chance to, to win some matches. Uh, number one, Brandon Reed was a state runner-up last year, kind of came out of nowhere. Um, Made a big name for himself. Um, number two, Hamadan from Boone County. Um, pretty good sized kid. He wrestled heavyweight a lot last year. Dropped down to 220. Was, uh, was pretty competitive. He gave uh, Austin a pretty good match in the re regional finals. Well, com relatively yeah. <laughs> speaking, he, he was. Uh, it was a six-minute match, essentially. He, yeah. he he made him wrestle. Let's be clear, there was no threat there. <laughs> no threat, but he actually made one. Someone to actually make him wrestle. So yeah, I, that's true. It, it's funny when you know when we talk about Austin Myers, it's you know unbelievable talent. Wish him the best at West Virginia. Um, you know it. It's pretty pretty bad when it's to the point. Well, he didn't pin me in the first period, and that's you know. So and it, it was a pleasure to watch that kid. I know as a state, we got to watch him dominate for a long time, and you know. So that just shows you that you know, it, if he didn't pin him in the first period, you know, it's an accomplishment. So and we will take all the credit for his flow championship. Absolutely, as well. yes. Austin, if you watch this, you, you can thank me for that title. It was. Uh, Good thing you hit that slide by. You know. <laughs> uh, number three, Connor Sherman from Union County. Number four, Williams. Um, I'm going to go down a couple more. This actually is a, a pretty deep weight class with uh, Chandler, number five, and another guy we got to watch up in Michigan, uh, Colin Portman from North Oldham, number six. Man, we, oh, we threw him to the wolves goodness. wrestling heavyweight. Kid weighed in like 210, and wrestled was like 295 was the oh, weight yeah. class there was and big kids. he battled and battled all day was uh, very impressed with him you know they say he's actually better at football than he is wrestling so I a big fan of him um, getting to to be around him and to be around all guy those guys I, I it was nice to watch him battle Portman he mentioned it bumping up to that weight I mean you should have seen some of these guys he was wrestling and he was and these were you know, top tier kids, and he was battling right with them. And I, I was joking with him. I can't wait to actually see you wrestle 220. So, I know there's been a lot of talk about Reed. I saw him the other day. Um, solid kid. But I, you know, Portman. I, Portman will climb up that list. I, there, there's no doubt in my mind. And also Graziani. I saw him at uh, where were we? Team Kentucky. This is the last week. The last week. And he. Uh, yeah, he was moving pretty good for a big guy. He, uh, yeah, I, you know, we'll see what happens with him. I've always been a, a Graziani fan, so uh, you know, it'll be interested to see some of those guys. And we actually have, like he said, someone to talk about at 220. I, you know, it was a given every year. Myers was going to run through it. Now there's some guys here. I, I believe there's three, four, or five guys here that act, actually will compete for a title. So we'll see what happens. If we. Uh... If we rank these guys wrestling with cowboy boots on, I pick Graziani. <laughs> and possum pot, right? <laughs> All right, this brings us down to 285. I, I didn't jot a lot down for this. I believe that we'll get to see the return to Landing Young. Um, he's our one spot. Landon Jones at two, Jorge Mendez at three, and Sean Sanders at four. Um, I. I like Landon here. Um, we didn't get to see him at the state tournament last year. He, it, for anybody that's never been around Landon or his 
dad, they are probably the nicest people you guys would ever meet. I, you know, you think a big kid like that is the most well-mannered, well-spoken kid I've ever been around. And now, I used to get a chance to wrestle with him a couple years ago when he was uh, an eighth grader, but every time I see him and I look up at him, I, I tell him, I, I don't want to fool with you. So, <laughs> I know he's already signed his scholarship, you know, actually his letter of intent like two years ago in the UK. So. I, I hope to see him back out on the map this year. I'd like to see him win a title uh, senior year. Um, other than that, I don't, I don't have a lot on the heavies. No, that's um, that's probably the one that uh, I'll admit we probably miss the most year in and year out. It seems like there's a lot of uh, a lot of turnover when those guys. The placers are usually seniors, so uh, predicting the next next uh, next batch of top tier guys has been. Uh, been tough, um, so we'll see how, how we do this year. Um, on to some team discussion uh, before we finish up. Uh, for the uh, individual state tournament, oh, actually let's start with duels. Um, right now we have Oldham County, the number one team, second Fern Creek. Um, kind of interesting how different that is from the, uh, the individual results. Um, those two teams pretty solid top to bottom, um, but as we mentioned a little bit going through the individual rankings, who, who knows what Oldham County's lineup is. Those guys cut a lot of weight last year and uh, guys ended up at way different weight classes than we thought they would be, um, so I, I wouldn't expect any different this year. They could be moving weight classes around and um, could be for the better, could be for the worse, and guys end up uh, in some different spots. Um, and we mentioned a little bit with Fern Creek, you know, are they going to shift their lineup around a little bit with, uh, uh, I know uh, Coach Hitchings uh, had a little bit different uh, projected score than, than I did at the end of the season last year, and he was right and I was wrong. Um, so uh, he may uh, have some things in mind that would move Fern Creek up on the individual rankings from uh, just cracking the top 10 to more toward the top, I'm not sure. Um, Trinity, Trinity is, if they can find some, some role players, I think they, they've got the studs. Um, they'll be right there in the duels. Union County, again, pretty solid top to bottom, Lake Johnson. Um, St. X, they are always tough in duels. Um, seems like they've got a, a, lot of, a, a lot of role player guys that they can fit guys in the lineup and, and be competitive with anybody. So it'll be interesting to see how they shape out during the year um, and again Woodford number seven there we who knows where their lineup's going to be so they, they could uh, could improve upon that they shift some things around as well anything you want to add on duels no I, I think that yeah we'll see Oldham Oldham has both Emersons Nick Wise Jacob Henley McIntosh you know, we'll, we'll see what happens. I, I think out of all these, Union's pretty crafty, uh, moving their guys around, putting them in the best spot to, you know, secure a state title. Um, one big difference this year, um, the Coaches Association, I believe, split the uh, duels so that small school and big school won't be in the same location, so you won't get to have that super championship match. So. Um, Union will kind of be on their own to beat up on us and Harrison County and small schools. Um, so we won't to see them battle the uh, winner of the big, big schools. I don't have to drive That's true. All right. Uh, individual rankings, uh, Trinity 1, Union 2, I had them almost in a dead heat. Um, and then a little drop off to get to Oldham Johnson, St. X, and then probably another little drop off there, Woodford, North Oldham, uh, the next group of guys. Um, have any, uh, I don't know, AJ would tell us Fern Creek's the sleeper pick. Um, <laughs> AJ yeah. will tell you a lot. <laughs> <laughs> you, you have any sleeper team you think uh, you know, might surprise us? Uh, you know, I don't. I, I think the top guys. I, I think it's it's a given. I don't. You know, Cooper. 
we've got Cooper up in eighth. I, I still, I think Ryle really fell off this year. Um, Cooper moving up to the top spot, at least in our region. I don't... Maybe Lafayette climb it up a little bit. I, you know, we'll just have to see. I don't, you know, a lot of this stuff, you know, it ends up with matchups and who's wrestling who and I don't know. It's going to be a Probably one that, one that sticks in the back of my head and I keep looking at my numbers just to try to figure something out. I expect Henry Clay to be higher. They've got a number of guys, um, the Millers, Stork, um, that's true. Just trying to think of the names that go through some of the weights. Richards, um, the guy that went with us to Michigan, um, uh, 160. Uh, oh, um, but it seems like they've got a number of guys I see in here. You know, Ray Carl Irving and um, who's his buddy? Um, oh my goodness. Uh, Blake Denny. It just they, it seems like they have That's so true. many kids that I expect them to be a little bit higher. So um, that wouldn't surprise me if I see them pop up around the top ten as well. Um, all right. Well, it looks like we're almost, actually almost went up to an hour. I thought we'd be able to do this in 30 minutes, but wow. not quite. Um, it'll take me about six hours to get this upload, but we'll see what happens. All right. Well, this is the first one. I promise we will cut this down. So I imagine this is going to get all kinds of, you know, debate. It's, you know, we were trying to come up with the name of the show and we thought, that, all right, one of the first things, you know, who knows? We even joked about naming it. It's not all about your kid. You know, I, sometimes with these rankings, it's, it, it, it's almost like the parents get a little more worked up about it than the kids do. You know, I get more private messages or texts from parents than I ever would a wrestler. So... I, you know, hopefully this gets the, you know, we get the normal, oh, this is fuel for the fire, and, you know, th there's nothing personal about any of this. I, I wish all these kids the best of luck. Um, I'm a big fan of pretty much all these kids. You know, I, I've had a chance to be around this now and watch these kids grow up, and, you know, and I've been fortunate enough to rather what school they go to. You know, we have a facility here that I must have had 30 different schools here you know all kinds of kids from different places and it, it's really neat to be a part of that stuff and to watch these kids grow up and regardless where they are you know when i see them out on the mat it you know it's it's fun to root for those kids so hopefully you guys like this hopefully we can you know cut the wind down and quit yakking so much and get this uh get this a little more dialed in for you but we'll, uh, we'll see what the response is and you guys can send the uh, messages oh you're an idiot this is, <laughs> what were you thinking i i had a dad the other day when we posted the ranking said are you smoking crack i was like i you know so we'll we'll, we'll see what happens uh you know it should be fun if anything this is going to get people excited uh people are going to talk about it it's going to get debate hopefully it gets people talking about wrestling so all right thanks a lot all right guys we'll see you